Hello everyone my dear achievers how are you I hope you are doing good and yes I'm also good thank you for asking learning is fun and we have all you wonderful people in the chat Achal learning is fun Prashansa Chitra Prasoon Disha Prachi Himani uh Vandana Nikhat Rashmi or rounder physics army attendance huh? <laughs> yes oh Himani Mona Lisha okay Akshya and nice perfectly audible and visible thank you Disha all right I'm good I'm good how are you first of all let me know that today morning I hope you have seen the session of today's morning session uh, the one where we discussed all the science project uh, entries which you which you shared with us all right Yashita nice okay yes so today we'll continue our learning which we did in the last session right we discussed about the basics of motion today we'll talk about varying motion all right and I can't see your comments right now so just give me a second the last time we discussed about distance displacement right Yoshita focus on the session huh? <laughs> yes all right all right yes oh nice you have gone through the entire chapter good afternoon uh, Sonal all right today numerical in the session yes Utkarsh we have few numericals and we'll discuss about so today's agenda is talk about motion that is varying right so this is what is we'll try to figure out or clear out in the session and then slowly slowly we'll go for more numerical heavy sessions you know? right thank you Husna. all right so are you ready and are you excited first of all this is a conceptual session right see we are doing a lot of fun sessions also but you know we can't miss these sessions these sessions are equally important and I would say they are more important also because yes somehow in the end we all talk about marks exams so they are all in your syllabus also right nice yes excited and ready all right so let's start learning about varying motion and by the way if you have forgotten we are having scholarship test on every Sunday please make sure you register and yes last week we had a homework question Disha, bahut jaldi is peak session hone wala hai hold on ha yeah yeah that's true himani so speed time graph you know speed time graph I said graph cannot go in the negative direction right because distance cannot be negative correct oh thank you Suranjan nice you have done the homework Manjeet my name is Saurabh if you don't know and we'll be dealing with physics you and me all right so this was the homework question a car travels first 30 kilometers with the speed of 60 kilometers per hour and then next 30 with the speed of 40 kilometers per hour calculate the total time of the journey and I, I think it was not that difficult of a question and yes I have seen your answers and those answers are pretty good nice I know you are done with the homework and that's why these are people these are you guys who have given the answers in the comment box uh, we had Dia we had Joe we had Abhinaya, we had Saranya, we had Himani, yes, and some more names were there. And I'm sorry if those names are not here, but yeah, when this when we created this session, these names were there, right? Ah, uh, Srinivasa. See, every day, I think tomorrow it's there, no? Srinivas. Physics is not hard. Is it's all it's all in your mind, right? The thing which you are afraid of, the thing which you have you have practiced less, that feels hard. But I promise you, the more you come face to face with me, tomorrow I would I would want to see you that uh, physics is not that difficult. And I can see some of your seniors are here in this class. They can actually tell you that physics is not that hard. It's just in our mind, right? Oh, so sorry, all rounder. So 
your your comment might have been in the bottom and that's why that comment got missed but yes see what you know is you answer right that's important and i have i've seen all the all the uh, entries also right nice oh nice chitra all right it's okay numericals are not that confusing if you practice and will practice all the numericals so let's start with a very common understanding uh, how many of you people uh, live in metro cities like and it's okay uh, officially bangalore is not metro but traffic wise i would say it's it's worse than metro cities right hey anushka right how many of you have have been living in metro cities where you know traffic jams are are a problem indore all right sarnia lives there in chennai okay right hyderabad in prayag okay delhi delhi mein ha it's still better than bangalore i would say but yeah see how many of you are living in bangalore just let 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 me know that first because i'll relate better from you mumbai yeah yeah mumbai i have lived rika there are also a uh, uh, good jams over there oh okay vandana nice chitra is from mars all right Madhya Pradesh. So, people who have lived, especially, especially in Bangalore, because Bangalore is infamous for traffic. If I tell you the truth, you have, you know what happens. You know, you are sitting in your vehicle. Maybe it's a scooter. Maybe it's a bike. Maybe it's a car, and you are just waiting and waiting for the jam to get cleared. Right? You start, you break. You start and you break. You start and you break. This thing happens, right? Correct. Lakshmi, we might have forgotten your name because it might be in the in the bottom. But yes, I saw you. You gave the answer. It's okay, right? Uh, so, Ranjan, I lived in Trichy. Chennai, we used to go in between, right? So, you all experienced what kind of traffic jams happen, right? And what are the worst kind of traffic jams where you just you have no option, right, to accelerate something. It's just brake, little bit forward, brake. forward break right this is what happens correct traffic jams in evening are eternal yeah disha that's true correct right they are worse that's why and that is also kind of motion only no i mean although you are moving inch by inch but it's a kind of motion right so and how many should we think uh, express ways are better let's say if if you want to travel to delhi from some place previously we used to have those narrow roads right now we have express ways So there is a, a there is a stark difference between traveling in a jam and traveling on an expressway right you go the like, zoom 100 120 110 the car is running smooth right so expressways are are always the choice yes you want to save time you want to move fast expressways right correct i'm good i'm good correct it's okay rafiq right so always and always you will choose express way right and if you notice if you notice the speedometer of the car see we have talked about see in in a jam the speedometer is barely going till 5 or let's say 10 right maximum it's 7 8 but 0 0 2 3 0 0 5 6 0 right this is what is happening in a traffic jam in express way you are going like 100 constant 110 constant right this is what is happening correct This is a retardation only. Yes, negative acceleration is only telling you direction, right? Correct. Nice. Okay. So motion of a car on a highway. Yes, we like it. It's a thumbs up. And motion of a car in a heavy traffic. Oof, we hate it. It's it's a thumbs down, right? This is what happens. But let's take a look at the type of motion because today's topic is varying motion, right? Fine. That's why. Correct. Is it? So. Let's take a look objectively the way we like to learn about it. First case, you will see time zero, one, two, three. All right, it's in hours, and distance you will see in kilometers zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Watch, the car is covering. Nice in first hour zero to one hour it is covered twenty kilometer. One to two hour covering twenty kilometers again. Two to three. 20 kilometers again right so in each interval the car is covering equal distances means you will say sir it's a very very nice uniform kind of motion right correct 
Yes. When the acceleration is zero. Yes, yes, yes. When that, if you have a constant speed, means what? There is no change in speed. For acceleration, you want change in speed, no? Right? <laughs> Thank you, Lakshmi. Yeah, Disha. It should be taken as negative only. Okay? All right, all right. So, next case. Watch. Watch the red car now. 0 to 1, it is 0 20. And here is 2, here is 3. If you watch this red car, what do you see? Rafiq, body moves with constant velocity if acceleration is 0, right? Same velocity. Okay? Second one, you would notice it's unequal, right? So, if we want to categorize these two properly or technically, I would say equal distances and equal intervals of time. First is covering equal distance. Kitna time mein? In equal interval, right? Har ek ghante mein equal distance is being covered, right? In every hour, equal distances are being covered, right? That's why. First one is a equal distance in equal time kind of motion. Second one is unequal distances in equal time interval of motion, right? Correct? That's the second one. Because 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. Timing is fine in one hour, next one hour and next one hour. But distance is not equal. So we are saying it's an unequal distance being covered. Correct? Right? Ah, nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good guys. Nice. So, if you want to give it a term. First one is uniform motion. Second one is non-uniform motion. So, if we take it back. What is uniform motion? It's a kind of motion where equal distances right equal distance slash displacement is being covered in equal intervals of time similar thing with non uniform motion where equal uh, where uh, unequal distance slash displacement is being covered in equal intervals of time that is what it's a non uniform motion correct yes uh, it's a nice statement uh, janil it's a nice statement average speed is same why? Because average speed is what? Total distance covered upon total time taken. If you see total distance covered is 60 only. Total time taken is 3 only. Right? In both the cases. So that's why average speed will be same. But if you notice in between, there is ups and downs. Right? So that's why. Good? Nice, nice. Himani, we'll come out. Uh, we'll talk about graphs in very detail in, in, in I think, next session or the or next to next session. Graphs will take separately and in great detail. Today, let's focus on what kind of non-uniform and uniform motions do we have. Now, this is one question which a few of you might be able to answer. Look at all these pictures I'm, I'm showing you. One, second picture. Second one is of a roller coaster. Third one is of, uh, looks like a fast car, I would say, right? And last one is a snap of a finger. Few of you might know relation between these four. But you know what? These four are related with one important thing. What is that thing? If you guys have seen similar kind of session before, you might know the answer. And it's okay if you don't know. Means uh, I can still maintain the suspense. Okay, Akshya says motion. All are fast. Nice. Nice, Shamita. Yes, correct. Speed. <laughs> motion. Motion. Ah, Prabhakar, okay. You are saying acceleration. All have some speed. Non-uniform motion. Force. Okay. All right. Nice. So, looking at all the answers, very quick motion. Nice, Rupa. You are getting closer. Their motion, ah, okay, okay. So, Anushka, don't look at the uh, uh, time freeze over here. I'm just trying to say all these kind of motions. Okay, all right, all right. See, I'm glad to see the kind of answers I've got in the chat. And it's, it's pretty good. Lakshmi knows the answer, kind of, kind of answer. Yes, right? Okay. All happening in microsecond. Oh, nice, Javir. Sudden acceleration. All right, all right, guys. Let's understand. First, 
because very frequently acceleration is coming right pressing the accelerator there is a reason that a car has a b c right the accelerator brake and clutch this accelerator and that's how acceleration is also somehow related with this, right? When you press this particular pedal, the car's, car goes, ooh, you go back, right? You feel, you feel increasing your speed, right? Right? Yes. Correct, correct, nice, nice, nice. So, acceleration is what? Car is going 0 to 5 to 10, 25, 50, right? its speed is increasing so you guys were asking one question sir what if, what if, what if there is acceleration is zero means there is same speed no same speed same velocity means there is no change in speed or velocity but if there is a change see change could be positive or change could be negative speed could increase speed could decrease velocity could increase velocity could decrease means acceleration could be positive or negative correct right correct correct nice nice Speedometer is so cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Nice, nice, Prabhakar. All right, so we have an intuition, we have an idea about acceleration. If we want to define this, it is the change in velocity upon time. How much increase or decrease in velocity happened upon time taken? Okay, so this is important. I'm calling velocity. Sir, tomorrow you will say that find a change in speed and I can find acceleration from there. So I have made this very clear previously also. See, speed or velocity, speed and velocity. Usually we interchange these terms only and only when a body is traveling in a straight line in the same direction. Okay? Correct? So now acceleration of motion, same thing. Zarina displacement formula is final position minus initial position right final position minus initial position that is displacement the shortest distance between these two initial and final points right nice nice okay okay velocity manjeet velocity is how fast the body is moving right how much displacement you have covered and how much time so it is displacement upon time simple right? okay motion motion lakshmi motion is any movement acceleration is one parameter we study under motion okay yes uh imani not today it's it's a good question but it, you know we'll get digressed from the session all right so this is what acceleration is it is the rate of change of velocity how fast the velocity changed that quantity is acceleration fine okay and its si unit is meter per second square Right, so you, I, I hope you know how this meter per second square came. See, change in velocity, velocity is unit is meter per second. You dividing it with time means per second. So it is meter per second square, or you write it as meter per second square. All right. So this this unit is clear. All right, nice. True. Yeah, yeah. Actually, can be negative. Oh, hello, Jason. I it's okay. All right. One poll question for you. So here I'll give you just four options, see A, B, C and D and you can choose one of the correct options. Which of the following quantities cannot have a negative value? Something which you are already discussing in the chat. I can see that, right? Nice, rate of change of velocity, Lakshmi. Right? Your time starts now. Speed and velocity, that's what I'm saying. We uh, we use them interchangeably only when you know there is a body moving in a straight line. If a body in a straight line, in the same direction, mein move karta hai, then we say speed and velocity are same. Right? So speed and velocity are same when a body is moving in a straight line in the same direction. All right, fine. Okay, let's see, let's see. Displacement is one answer. Disha, I have answered this question. Huh? Okay. All right. Lot of C's. Lot of C's and it feels good. Yeah, distance can be only zero or positive. Yes, that's true. And the correct answer is C only. That's right. That's right. Okay. Now, just for the sake of clarity, let's take a simulation right let's understand it using a simulation and that's why we'll use a right 
an interactive simulation right nice c got 82 percent very good very good guys all right let me just move yeah nice other three are vector quantities correct correct so here is the simulation let's see Lakshmi distance can be zero if I am here and I'm standing here only after 10 seconds I'm I'm standing here only means what distance traveled by me is zero right I did not move that's why okay nice all right all right let's see so this is a let's move it first of all see here acceleration is constant at 2 meter per second square let me tell you what is the meaning of this every second the velocity is going to increase by 2 meter per second see right if uh, imagine imagine this to be like this if i say velocity of a body is 2 meter per second right if a body's velocity is 2 meter per second correct right it means at each second displacement is 2 meter correct now if i'm saying acceleration is 2 meter per second square means every time velocity is changing by how much by 2 meter per second every second there is an increase in velocity by 2 meter per second okay so this is a very important concept today you might not be very clear with this but you know what we'll do numericals and i explain this to you again very carefully today i'm just giving you an idea okay right all right all right so this was showing you velocity Average speed is what? So uh, this is this is kind of a, a simple thing. Let me just reset it. And now let's change the initial velocity. Let's take it as five, right? And acceleration as uh, let's take it as five only, right? And if I say show acceleration, you will notice acceleration is constant. Velocity is increasing, right? So that's what happens, correct? That's what happens. If acceleration is more, means the body is moving faster. Its velocity is increasing faster. If this was a negative acceleration, you would say, let's say a body was moving with 10 meter per second and there is a negative acceleration, means body was moving in this direction, but acceleration is acting in that direction. It will slow down and stop. Okay, fine. All right. So this was a very simple demonstration using a simulation. It's okay. It's okay. And let's move forward and learn more about this particular concept. So let's get back to the session. All right. So any doubt in this till now? Tell me. Disha, it can have. No, it can have. Let's say you are moving in a car. Right? You, you're, you're, you're moving in a car, the car was going with 10 meter per second and suddenly you press the accelerator. Your car will now start moving with more and more and more speed. No, Same thing. It's not necessary, it is at rest. No problem. Very good. Okay, no doubt. All right, all right. See, while buying a car, what are the features that we desire? Okay, I think you guys are much more modern than we were at your age. So, uh, let me ask you this thing. What features do you think you would uh, try to check when you're trying to buy a new car, you or parents? Or hypothetically, let's assume you had all the money, right? It, it was your money, let's say. And you had all the options of buying any car. What would you see in a car? It's a very hypothetical question and it's a very, very good question. Haan, toh, Lakshmi, us case mein distance zero ho gaya, na? How smooth, how acceleration is there. Speedometer and odometer you'll check. Okay. So everybody is saying speed. Zarina says acceleration, brake, clutch, mileage. Comfort, nice question. Yeah, that's also important. I mean, if you are spending so much, you want comfort also, right? How are the parts working? Mileage, okay. Yes, Archit, correct. Right? You'll never buy a car, okay, Vandana? Yeah, that's, that's also true. I mean, your choice, your money, your choice. Price of, uh, that's a very important thing, Utkarsh. Price of the car, right? 
is also important but i gave you a hypothetical situation you have all the money in the world all right see that's it's very simple uh, fuel efficiency right we take car safety see safety is also important no right airbag oh nice all rounder says airbag that's what i was looking for one more an answer Rekha, it can be same when the body is moving in a straight line in the same direction. Okay. Rafiq, not today. See, I'll I'll start getting into that. You know, and you know we will we'll miss the topic that we are we're talking about. But yes, someday we'll talk about vector addition. It's not that difficult. Eleventh class, me, it's a very basic thing. Right? कौन सा कार है? Mileage, दिशा, it's more like average. आपकी bike का average कितना है? And you say it is fifty kilometer per liter. how much fuel you have taken and how much kilometer your bike had run on that fuel that is the average we call so acceleration top speed navigation system entertainment it's also necessary right now it is we have like small small tvs in cars so all these things will take into account right so do you know one of the fastest car in the world right now looks cool huh right see i can't buy it i'm not sure if you can buy it but looks cool at least we can look at it right and we know uh, it's good to have knowledge about it right so this is bugatti's chiron and do you want to know what it's uh, when i say it's like one of the fastest car <laughs> right when i say it is one of the fastest car let me tell you its top speed is 400 km per hour and and another interesting thing you know another Zero to hundred kilometer per hour, it covers in two seconds. All rounder, yeah, I think so. Rekha, I answered your question. It's okay not to put so many question marks. I said if a body is going in a straight line in the same direction, then distance displacement will be same. <laughs> yes, so. Zero to hundred kilometers per hour in two second. Can someone tell me it's all right? All right. See, I won't ask it to you right now, but don't worry. I'll tell it to you. Okay. Now, does acceleration always mean change in speed? This is one question I'm asking you. See, till now we said. speed is changing velocity is changing and we say acceleration is there and te technically we say it is the change in velocity upon time taken is it true that whenever there is an acceleration means speed should change acha you are saying there is some lagging problem is it is this lagging problem for everyone just let me know <laughs> no himani i was not about to ask its price something technical i would have asked but i have saved it for end no okay sometimes yes sometimes no can you think of an example someone so there is a lag huh? okay uh so my team has given me a thumbs up that the lag thing is sorted just uh, if it's still there let me know example for you are saying that it's not necessary that if there is acceleration that speed should change if you are saying no it's not necessary means what is the example on what basis you are you are saying that yes and now it's gone good good yeah yeah because the tech team has said it, it's fine manjit it is how many rotations per minute again let's say a wheel is rotating no how many rotations completing in one minute that's rpm anyone anyone with the example it's okay try something no you might say it wrong that's that's the worst that can happen no come on lagging uh, suranjan i think it's solved because people are saying now it's fine uniform motion a little more specific example uh, lakshmi thoda sa car moving in a crowded street uh manat nahi this is not correct actually 
when the car is speeding up is the car is speeding up or it is in the traffic see it will start and stop means it will reaching some uh, some some velocity or some speed and then becoming zero there is a change no a ball falling from a height of 100 meters pushpraj acceleration is there and there is change in velocity also come on come on question chitra is there on the screen does acceleration always mean change in speed <laughs> so disha you are saying the car at rest means actually also at rest, zero no oh bull in anger <laughs> you have gone so creative watch himani got it yes Yes nice nice you are nice you have cracked you have cracked the question a body going in circles right hello ranjit i'm i'm good a body going in circles so you can say a body is going in circles right it is covering 2 meter in 1 second let's say its velocity its speed was 2 meter per second you are saying the body is going in circles and covering 2 meters in 1 seconds and uniformly right means speed is same but you know what its velocity is changing right correct yashwant yeah thoda sa uh, half of the session is gone but it's okay you can watch it afterwards also right earth revolving yeah that's true so uh, if a body is going in circles its velocity is still changing no why sir why is the velocity changing let's see velocity would change because because velocity is magnitude and direction correct so ranjan ah uh, the mental support would be able to help you out i'm sorry i am not the right person uh, to help you out in this case pendulum disha goes like this right so at a point it reaches zero also na nice very good utkarsh manat aachal nice ha lakshmi you can you can correct uh yes sir class 10 to we are teaching regular classes are happening don't worry and if you have subscribed to the channel you will get the whole schedule of the week usme hai there are 10th classes also yes ha clock clock is fine lakshmi right correct right so that's why a body going in circles right so uniform circular motion is a correct answer motion of an object on a circular path with constant or uniform speed so when i think who was asking i think i do i don't know rekha was asking or someone that is the speed and velocity same every time no it's not why it's only same when a body is going in straight line in the single direction then we say speed and velocity are same it's okay but here there's a very major difference speed is same but velocity is changing at every instant right magnitude suranjan hota hai the number which is defining hai na let's say if i ask you uh, what is your weight and technically weight is not kg it's newton right so let's say uh, i ask you how much is your height let's keep it simple and you might say let's see 5 5 and you say feet okay 5 is a magnitude the number how much and feet is the unit okay so that is the magnitude nice okay disha asked yeah disha that's also correct but electrons very probabilistic model so i won't go into that depth manat again same thing as as uh, displacement depends on initial final position if you cover one circle distance is the circumference but displacement is zero it's not the same thing correct wings of fan yes it's a physical value so let's understand this again using a simulation all right so This thing is important. Let's move to a simulative experience. All right, and let's see how to understand this thing. All right, are we ready to go into a simulative uh, simulation? Come on, guys, tell me. Schrodinger's equation, then me. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes, we are ready. Come on. Force and laws of motion, Rafiq. 
हाँ ये होगा दिस इज देर न्यू सिलेबस विल कवर इट कैन यू सी कैन यू सी द इंटरक्टिव सिमुलेशन राइट इज इट डिस्टॉर्टेड फॉर यू All right, all right. Help the athlete identify the correct point. Can you guys see the options in the board? The hammer so that it moves towards the finish line. Yeah, you you can see. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> all right. See, help the athlete identify the correct point to let go of the hammer so that it moves towards the finish line. a kind of game okay people are saying you cannot see the options all right can we do some adjustment in the in the uh, that thing okay just give us one second uh, we are changing the size so at least i'll i'll explain the question to you again see this is a athlete and you have seen these kind of games right uh, what do i call it shot put no no shot put is that one discus throw no discus throw is that one this is also some game i i forgot the name so uh tanmay i think you came to a wrong to a wrong session tanmay we are we are discussing about motion hai right? na if i if i start explaining all these things it'll take time and be digressing the session right so hold on hold on we'll discuss this ask me anything wala session hoga theek hai yes so the question is at what point do you want this athlete to leave the hammer such that this goes to the finish line okay So, can you guys see the options now? You can, no? Zero, ninety, one eighty, two seventy. हाहाहा. थोड़ा अभी अभी थोड़ा सा कट रहा होगा बस. I think now it's it's okay. Now it's visible. Now it's visible. हाँ इट्स ओके इट्स ओके आई थिंक दिस इज फाइन सी द फर्स्ट वन इज जीरो सेकंड वन इज नाइनटी एंड दिस इज वन एट्टी सो आई विल शो यू वन फॉर डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन पर्पजेज ओके लेट मी जस्ट लीव इट एट जीरो वॉच On removing the acceleration towards the center, the object. The moment this person left the hammer at zero, what happened? The the hammer went in this direction, the red direction. All right. So people are saying ninety also, huh? I can see some 90s and some 270s. So nobody is saying 180. All right, all right. Let's clear, uh, let's clear out this. Let's select 90 first. Watch. On removing the acceleration towards the He center, he turned the and left the hammer at 90. Gently. What happened? It went straight. In what direction? In this direction. Now let's see. You are saying 270. Okay, 180 भी है यहाँ पे. Okay, 180 भी देख लेते हैं. So 180 is this. No. 270. Ah, the hammer made it past 270 the finish line. Two seventy helped you out there, right? Nice, Imani. It's a good question. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to this question. Correct. So two seventy seems to be right choice. The, the thing or the point where you remove or release the hammer, it is going tangentially from that point. No, correct. Right. Ah, uh, Yashwant, it's not. Equal, but there is something else uh, which which you know uh, they try to adjust it using athletes are not uh, sitting like this. They are so that's how they try to compensate. Nice. All right. So let's see the question now. The angle between the velocity of an object and the acceleration causing that velocity for uniform circular motion is. If you were able to answer that or that demonstration was clear to you, I think this question will be simple now, right? so rafeek the question uh, in that observation what is happening whichever point a body going in circle whichever point you are releasing it it is going in tangential direction correct and yes everybody is saying 90 very good that's true right okay okay all right all right nice 90 is the correct answer so let's get uh, let's get back to the session guys come on yes so let's understand this in uniform circular motion magnitude of velocity of the object remains same right we are saying speed here right what is what is so whenever it's it's a uh, common mistake i would say take speed right velocity is changing at every instant because of direction correct so but that magnitude the number right speed is same no true second direction of velocity varies 
direction of velocity varies and it is directly tangential at all points so question was why it is tangential right see the body it's it's uniform right 2 meter per second it is going in circles and circles and circles now you are asking why it is going tangentially see this acceleration towards the center is responsible to change the direction every time if it is gone if that center acceleration is gone means the body has no reason to move in circle at that point it is free and what is the newton's second law says or i would say newton's first law says it says when there is no net force the body will try to move in the state it is. It will try to be in rest or with constant velocity. And that's why the moment you remove acceleration, means you are removing force, means the body will keep on moving with constant velocity, means in the tangential direction, correct? Yes, Disha. Correct, correct, nice. So, the examples of circular motion, all these are examples of circular motion, right? Correct? Like fan, correct, correct. Yeah, second law is F equals MA. It's just a quantitative way of representing the first law only. That's not very different. Correct, Disha, yes. Himani, this only I explained, no? Because acceleration is making this velocity to change its direction and keeping in circular motion. The moment this acceleration is gone, means it will just move tangentially. Because of first law of motion, no force. No change in, change, change in state of motion and that's why it will keep on going in tangential direction, right? Correct? Supriya, I can only read solve my doubt, but what doubt? I'm not sure. Right? Uh, Disha, yes, we have. Okay, alright. Now, if you are clear with all this, I think you can answer this one also. Motion of earth around the sun. It's a kind of circular motion only right true manat acceleration is towards center and velocity is tangential to the acceleration at each point correct it can be no a body is going like this and suddenly a fan if you increase the speed of the fan don't you think its speed is increasing right so that is also what Right? So, velocity is tangential to acceleration. And wherever there is acceleration, there is force. Na? I think you know the name of this force that we are donating, uh, uh, depicting over here. Yeah, Bruce, please ask. Okay? Right? So, what is the force? <laughs> Centripetal force, Manat. Correct? Ah, ah, Yeshwan, centrifugal, to fir, you are going in a different uh, direction right now, pseudo force kind of direction, but don't, don't uh, go there. Pushparaj, uniform circular motion with equal speed if a body is going in circles. Yes. Centripetal force is the answer, right? So, let's, let's answer this very simple question, or not, it's, it's not a question, I would say, it's, it's more of like a discussion. How would you calculate the speed of satellite moving around the earth in a circular orbit at a constant rate? If a satellite is going around the earth, how will you calculate its speed? Tell me, what is speed? Yes, Disha, it is because of gravity. What is speed? It will be distance covered upon time taken. What is the distance being covered here? Chitra is the force towards the center. Right? The uh, sun is attracting the earth and because of this attractive force, earth is going in circles. That is the centripetal force and that is the acceleration also. Distance. Here, what is the distance? Circumference. Correct, Prachi. It is the circumference upon time. Right? So, speed will be circumference upon time. Circumference is 2 pi r upon t. Simple, right? So, which of the following is true for uniform circular motion? So, this is my last question to you for today. Come on, answer this and it's, it's a poll question. I'll give you four options again. A, B, C, D, and you can you can answer there. Come on, let's let's do this. Centripetal motion. Centripetal is acceleration bridge. You know? Center, the acceleration towards center, which is making this body to go in circle. That is centripetal acceleration, right? So guys, your time starts now. Disha, 
Ah, uh, I would really want to answer this, but not today. It'll take me a lot more time, and you know we don't have that much time right now. But someday, someday, definitely. And it's a very, very good question also. All right. Yes, yes. Two minutes more, and we'll finish the session. All right, guys. And yes, all of you who are saying C is correct, both acceleration and velocity changes. So today's it's done. Just take a screenshot of this homework question, and we'll discuss about this. And if you want to answer in comment, you can also answer about Bugatti. It was going zero to hundred kilometer per hour in two seconds. You can also give me acceleration of that car in the comment sections. All right, Rafiq, non-uniform. Turn the knob of your rotating fan. That is non-uniform circular motion. What is this? The Telegram group, guys. It's very important. In the description, there is a link. Uh, join that channel because you know what? This session's notes will be going on on that Telegram channel. All right. So, Ranjan, we have done a session on that. Okay. If you search, you'll get it. We have got you covered. We tell this every time. And this summer mini series, you know, it's there. And we are doing a lot of interesting activities in this. Today's 12 p.m. session was about that. And finally, I would say, guys, it's the least we can expect, right? Like, if you think the session was good, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. All right, we'll meet each other next time in the same kind of chapter and with new concepts. All right, let's say goodbye and promise we'll meet again. Bye bye.